Ah yes, the Grand Western Canal. The horse-drawn barge was officially named the Tivertonian and launched by author Helen Harris in July 1974. And so, this is where the great horse-drawn barge service was first formed and is still going strong today with people travelling from all over the country to visit one of the few remaining horse-drawn barges in Britain. It is the aim of Phil Brind and his team to keep the horse-drawn barge going for future generations to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are we all? All ready for the trip of your life? But uh, what I would like to say in that case is welcome to Tiverton, which is our little town just over the hill. Welcome to the Grand Western Canal and welcome aboard the last horse drawn barge in the South West. Thank you very much. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you particularly enjoyed about taking a slow cruise along the canal here? Well, I think the slow bit is the attraction, but it is quiet and uh, it's a different piece of life. It's reminiscent of what uh, you might have imagined it was in the 19th century. And to see a horse actually pulling the barge as well, very pleasing sight to see the horse working uh, as it would have done years and years ago. Indeed, and uh, to realise just how strong these cob horses are and to see them working naturally in this way is really lovely. They're not just animals to pat but animals for working. And uh, Harriet's here with us as well and I think you're a Devon resident. Yeah I live in Coombe Martin and it's uh, been on one of my to-do lists for a long time to come on the canal and today is the day I've done it. So it's really great to be here, I really enjoyed it. Great just sitting here watching the world go by. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am here with Margaret and the horse Taffy, who draws the barge. Taffy looks like he wants to be a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a new friend. Um, and uh, how, how the heavy horses obviously differ very greatly from the horses you're used to, but uh, has it been nice to see a different type of horse and how they're still used in a, a, a very different way to, uh, to, yes. to racing? Yes, definitely. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I have uh, horses that um, you know are ridden mostly, and um, they uh, also have uh, competitions with confirmation. But I haven't been around big horses like this very much. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and and he, he's just lovely, <laughs> and it's fun to watch him work. I wish that uh, there was more of them. Really, the wildlife that you see is terrific. Okay, and give us an expert's opinion on uh, Taffy and the condition of the horse. Uh, he's looking fantastic today. He, he, absolutely, he's looking wonderful. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, he thinks he thinks. Yes, see, he's, he's saying everything's wonderful. He looks lovely, yes. He's taken care of beautifully, and it's not a trouble for him to do this. He does it effortlessly. And this in particular, this canal work, I mean, it would disappear if it wasn't for families like this that are doing it. Well, thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your stay in England. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I sh certainly will. It's okay, and I'll enjoy this guy too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Dave, why did you switch over with him halfway along the journey? Uh, it's due to uh, just to give each other a bit of a break, really. Uh, one walks out with the, the horse um, and then the other one goes back. Uh, you're doing two and a quarter miles each trip, up to three trips a day, so it just makes it easier work. And how do you learn the skills to be able to navigate with the, the boat? <laughs> it, it depends what, what you're, you're going to do. If you're, you're becoming uh, a crew to work on here, um, then the company itself has its own certificate uh, and also to that, you have to go off and do a course with the MCA, which is a Maritime Coast Guard Agency, uh, to get yourself a boatmaster to be able to do it. I started off as crew. Uh, I really started here for the horses, really. Um, and then started off doing the crew work, spending the time with the horses, and then gradually grew on from there. And do you get lots of interesting questions from the members of the public, uh, either about <laughs> the horses or about the barge itself? Are you always getting surprised with the things people want to know? Uh, sometimes it, it can be a bit of a surprise uh, as to the questions that people come out with. Uh, but generally it's, it's, it's the, the same questions of how old he is and how's the horse and the barge and was this just a passenger barge or was it a cargo barge, those types of questions, uh, mostly through the year uh, that we get. But you, you enjoy the fun of uh, being part of the, the trip each day. How do you sort of um, keep it fresh for people each time? Uh, well, I quite enjoy it. It's, it's come to a surprise to me because <laughs> I'm not a, a... Generally, I would never have put myself as a person who likes to talk to large groups uh, of people. Uh, but actually, you, a lot of people will say to you, well, you must get a bit bored uh, doing this kind of job because you're doing the same trip every day, uh, up and down and things. But actually, you don't because every trip you do, you're taking different people onto it. Um, and those people are what make you different. You know, you, sometimes you've got really lively groups. Uh, and other times they're here, people are here to get the history side of it and that side of it. So the, the general passengers make you become <laughs> different uh, as you're going along and you, you kind of adapt to, to them as they, they arrive. Really. But you must get to know the horses and also Roxy, of course, the dog as well. They must all become very, you know... Uh, <laughs> they do, they become things. part of the family. Uh, they've got their own individual characters and they keep you highly amused. It's not just walking by yourself. You're a good listener as you're going along. <laughs> okay, thank you.